God bless you. You are welcome to this channel in Jesus' name. Once again, I would like you to follow me on this journey. We'll be talking about why you must be a praying lady. It is very important to be a praying lady. Glory to God. God spoke to me powerfully and clearly. There are a lot of believers are in bad shape. A lot of believers are going through a lot in life, going through pains, delays, temptation, bad dreams, manipulation, etc. I can go on and on. But the good news is that the word of God abides forever. So this season, I would like you to roll with me as we will be discussing how we can become a praying lady. Too many times women have self-pitying, rejection, regress, etc. You know, marriage involves woman. You as a lady, you as a woman, if anything went wrong in your home, is you everybody will question. Yes, people will ask you question what is going on the man. That is why you as a lady in the home, you must center your home for Christ. You must be a praying lady. The only way to, the only way to succeed in this world that we are living in is to be a praying lady. You cannot fight that battle by yourself because the whole world lies in wickedness. The Bible stated that in 4 John, let's quickly look at that. In 4 John chapter 5 verse 19, look at what the word of God says. It says, we know that we are of God and the whole world lies in wickedness. That is the world we are living. But we are of God. But we are of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm so excited because the word of God abides forever. He said, but we are of God. Even though the whole world lies in wickedness, when you are of God, you always hear there's a casting down. But you will say there's a lifting up. That will be your portion these days in Jesus' name. So let me go back to my message real quick. You must be a praying lady because if anything happens in your home, it involves you. If it is well with your husband, it will also be well with you. If it is well with your children, it will also be well with you. So it's just a marriage or a home. It's like five figure. It's like five figures. If anything happened to one or the finger, it will rob every other thing. So what am I trying to say? In your home, if your husband is having headache, automatically you will become one too. You will also be having headache. If your children they are having headache, automatically you will become one too. You will also be having headache. So what am I trying to say? In a home, a woman must be a prayer warrior. Be a prayer warrior. That is the only way to win the marital battle. That is the only way to shut your door against enemies. Too many times you go about, you see men, they fall into victims, temptation, or children, they go to school, they have negative reports, they go to war, they have bad feelings and all that. You as a wife, what are you doing? You must center your home from, for Christ. You must center your home for Christ. If you want to win that marital battle, you must center your home for Christ. That is why I say you must choose prayer. If you want to be a champion, if you want to win the marital battles, you must choose prayer. Choose prayer and become a giant in your home. Choose prayer and live. And the most high God will give you the grace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So this season, I want you to roll with me as we will be dealing about pray against we are going to be fasting this week if you are interested you can inbox us tell us send your prayer request we will be glad to pray with you to encourage you in the law and the most high god that has been with us in this ministry tremendous results and poor results it will manifest in your case in the name of jesus christ so we cannot allow problems to tie us down no the only way to tackle issues in our marriage is to be a praying woman you must also add fasting and prayer to it. Let it be part of you. At least you can do fasting like maybe three times in a month, four times in a month. It will kill you, it will destroy you. Because what are you doing? You are centering your home for Christ. You bring that flame of fire back to your home. You know, the other day I was talking to my beloved son because he has been working with me. Tremendous results. My sons adore us. They have a different miracles. The uh, joke is being destroyed. Temptation is broken. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. You know what, what this young man told me, my, my beloved son? He said, Mommy, anytime I fast, miracle must happen. That is it. Even Jesus did it. It is a command. When Jesus was going to buy a ministry, he started with what? Fasting and prayer. Jesus started with prayer and he also ended with prayer. So you as a woman, if you want your home to be peaceful, if you want your home to be healthy, you must center your home for Christ. That is the only way to win the marital race. 
Jesus fasted and prayed in Matthew chapter 4. When you read from verse 1 to 11, you will get the full details. Even when he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, Jesus by himself, he was tempted by the devil. He was tempted. But luckily for him, it was a no-go zone area for Satan. So what am I trying to say? Satan tell him a bunch of stuff. I will encourage you to read that Matthew chapter 4 from verse 1 to 11. You will get the full details. He was tempted. But at the end of the day, Jesus defeated Satan. Are you ready to defeat that battle in your home? Are you ready to fight that delay in your life? Are you ready to fight that financial battle in your life? Are you ready to fight that enemy within in your home? Who no man, I the key man. Who, who is that enemy that is killing you in your house? Who is that enemy that know your history? That is taking your details, that is taking your information to the coven? Are you ready to fight that battle? You know, too many times people will say, no, I'll be going through this issue because it is in my bloodline. Excuse me. Some, some of them will say it's in my family history. Do you know in past generation, five, five, uh, five generations ago, it has been like that? Your case is different because you are born of God. You must overcome that battles. You must overcome that challenge. You must overcome that temptations are delayed. That is not of God. Perhaps the sickness that is ruling and reigning in your bloodline, you must take a stand against it because you are born of God. God, oh glory to God. What a mighty God we say. He said the whole world lies in weakness, just like Jesus. He was tempted, but Jesus defeated Satan. Are you ready to defeat that your enemy? Are you ready to fight this battle in this world? The whole world lies in weakness. The world is a battlefield. Are you ready to fight the battle? The only way to succeed is to be a prayer warrior. Hallelujah, Jesus. The only way to succeed is to choose prayer. Are you ready to do the hard work of prayer? Are you ready to wake up in the middle of the night and go on your knees and fight that battle on your knees? What about that negative repulse? What about that delay? What about that sickness? What about that financial battles? How are you going to fight it? You must be a prayer warrior. It's not only a prayer warrior, you must also have fasting and prayer to it. And the most high God will manifest itself in your home, in your business, in your life, in your destiny, in all that pertains to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Jesus. You know, I so much, you know, I so much like the power of fasting and prayer because Jesus did. It is a command. You know, the one that really gets to me is this. You know, when you look at Matthew chapter 17, there was a young boy that was possessed with demon. But Jesus hid this young boy. This young boy, this young boy was possessed with demons. He has demon in his body. So first of all, the young boy went to the disciples. The disciples could do nothing. They could not cast out the demons. You know, when Jesus get hold of the boy, Jesus cast out the demon. You know, the disciples, they were kind of curious. You know, why is it that we cannot cast